Here I have a Tracker Maxima and a Tracker Strike Collar. I'm going to tell you a little bit about collar frequency drift and how to tune collars into a Maxima Complete Receiver. Frequency drift is when a collar drifts a little off from its original frequency. So if your tracking collar is supposed to be a 217-250, it might drift and actually pick up better on a 249 or a 251. One of the main causes of frequency drift is a change in atmospheric pressure or simply a change in the weather. If you were tracking in 30 degree weather one day and 100 degree weather the next day, you would almost definitely see a difference in the signal quality. I'm going to show you the difference in the sound of a signal when a collar has drifted or is out of tune. I'm going to turn on my Maxima Complete. I already have my strike collar um, set in here. It's a 217-300. Right now I'm picking up a good signal. This collar is dead on the frequency, which almost rarely happens. With the Maxima Complete, to tune the frequency, you hold down Enter. The last digit will start flashing, and from there you can adjust it up or down. So now I'm actually bringing it out of tune, and you can see a big difference in the way the signal sounds. And, and now I've basically lost the signal. So now I'm going to tune it back up to 217-300, and push enter again to save the frequency. Since the release of our new Maxima Complete, we've had some customers say that they cannot tune their collars into the receiver. It's simply because the Maxima Complete has a seventh tuning digit and you would find yourself adjusting that frequency more often. It's not because the receiver isn't holding the frequency, it's because you are able to more accurately tune each collar to your receiver, which can actually increase the range you get out of your tracking collars.